this weekend. My first guest is hosting Saturday Night Live and performing songs from her brand new album, Oops, I Did It Again, which is going to be in stores a week from today. Please welcome the queen of teen, Britney Spears. Good. Cool. You look very pretty. Well, thank you. You've got you either I'm on acid or you're glittering. Is that? <laughs> is there a glitter? Can you? I don't know if they, yeah, they can see that at home. Yeah, it's is like that, fairy dust. Fairy dust. Yes. Okay, you showbiz people. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> now, uh, okay. you um, you have had this level of success, which it, it got crazy starting. How long ago would you say? It's a, a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah, like two. Years really ago. got intense. And uh, only you and I really know what that's like. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. <laughs> um, the fans, I mean, I'm always hearing about your fans and how intense they are. I heard that they're actually, they're going to your home where you grew up. Is that right? They're going to where your, where your mom lives? Is this, is this true? Yeah. At first, it was really weird because I'd be calling my mom up and I'd be like, Mom, who's at the house? And she's like, oh, there's just some fans in. I, you know, I'm serving she, them tea. She would invite them yes. in? Yes. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. That she's... intends to encourage them to come back, you know? <laughs> come on in. Watch free cable. You know? She's a nut. Next time, bring a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, uh... The world we live in. <laughs> oh, Andy, you're just in a bad mood today. No, now. I'm not. Did um, did they, did they, they take stuff? They take stuff from the your yard. I heard. What are they stealing yeah, from your yard? They would um, come and steal dirt. I don't know why. But... Steal dirt? <laughs> yeah. That is giving me an idea. Actually, <laughs> how do they know it's your dirt? I could sell any dirt on eBay and say that I met you and I got some dirt. You know. Yes, people believe anything. So. Right now, you are fairly famous for you've created this look and you have a bare midriff a lot when you're when you're performing you say that's a southern thing is that right yeah well seriously it's so hot down south like when we go to dance rehearsals i mean yeah everyone just wore sports bras and in the video they're like she's being so sexy and i was like i actually i thought the video was kind of cheesy but i don't know well you <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was cheesy yourself yeah. well you you where'd you grow up you grew up in, in new orleans yeah. In New Orleans, mm -hmm. okay. I you say New Orleans or New Orleans? I say New Orleans. I don't okay. say New Orleans. I'm fake, so I say New Orleans. Uh, <laughs> so you think it's just because it was hot? You mean if you had, had grown up in like Antarctica, you'd have a completely different career? You'd be <laughs> you'd be dancing in a parka. Is what <laughs> Probably so. Did um, let's talk about the. Uh, the Mickey Mouse Club where you got your start, which is turning out to be this great training ground, right, for a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have come out of there, like um, Christina Aguilera and mm -hmm. NSYNC, um, Justin and JC from there, yeah. How old were you when you got started with... with um, I was like 11 and 12 when I did that. Yeah. So we, it's weird. You'd be seeing Disney World from a completely different perspective. Yeah, we were backstage. It was cool. It was a lot of fun. Like on our breaks, we'd go out there and we'd like go to the park and it was fun. You'd fun. go to the park, but what are you seeing? I mean, I would think backstage at Disney could be frightening because you'd see, you know... You'd see the people with their heads off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'd be like so hot. a 10-year-old girl seeing like Mickey take off his head and... <laughs> smoking a cigarette. Did that happen ever? Yeah, it did actually. <laughs> smoking a conventional cigarette, yeah. Uh, did, so you would see things like that before. Did you, All the time. Now, how about Disney? I've always heard that Dis you know, Disney World, of course, is great, but you always hear these sort of spooky things about the Disney Corporation and sort of these, I'm not even going to go down this road. Um, <laughs> No, just like, you know, you always hear like it underground that there are people in Disney jumpsuits that are walking around and there are cameras everywhere monitoring things and that it's a pretty strictly run organization. Yeah, it is pretty strictly run, but not, you know, that Okay, intense, will not. I be killed if I keep talking this way? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, you rock. Uh, are there, there are Britney lookalikes, which has got to be strange. It's a little strange. Yeah, I had one show and my mom came there and there was this guy and he was he won a contest because you a know, guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, my mom thought it was me. She was like, "Brittany, come here." And then she turned around and <laughs> it wasn't your, me. When did your mom figure it out? <laughs> hey, mom, it's great to see you. <laughs> that show was rough. <laughs> I can't believe so. The person must have been turned away at least for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they were in this whole school school girl thing. So. Now, you do a show, people go insane. 
people go crazy in a nice way. They're really excited to see you. Have you ever had anything weird happen, like somebody jump up on stage or someone, you know? Actually, yeah, it was like our last performance, and this guy, um, it's, it's where I like walk around the stage and, the, and there's no music or anything going on. And I think the audience thought it was planned, and this guy just all of a sudden, he comes up on the stage and he takes his shirt off and he starts screaming. I'm like, please stop! And then one of my dancers, TJ, he came up and he took him off the stage. So, so did people thought it was part of the show? Yeah. And they liked it? Yeah. They, you yeah. should bring this guy with you. <laughs> <laughs> What if you went back to that guy and went, okay, here's the deal, $200,000 a year, <laughs> drink way too much and jump was, up on stage and flip It was very out. cool. It was very cool. Now, great honor, you are going to be the Grand Marshal at the Mardi Gras parade yeah. in New Orleans yes. or New Orleans. Yes. Uh, what's that like? Because I've understood that there's this tradition. Have you done anything like this before? There's a tradition where people, you know, lift their shirts and got, people expose themselves to get beats. I mean, is that, is that, that's, it's going to be weird. Yeah, it's going to be very weird. Yeah, I went there when I was like, um, 14 or 13 and everyone they're just crazy they're really crazy they're throwing up their shirts and throwing their pants down like oh stop please <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna work saying please stop <laughs> beer fueled maniacs so you're doing Saturday Night Live this weekend mm -hmm. that's fun have you been having fun so far this week yeah actually I'm um, after this I have like rehearsals for it so I'm really excited so they've picked the sketches you're gonna go upstairs mm -hmm. there's stuff you like yeah yeah, that sounds like, and you're going to sing too, right? Yeah, I'm going to do Susan. Okay, songs. well, Saturday Night Live this weekend, you have a new CD out called Oops, I Did It Again, which comes out next week. Yes. Right? And you have a book out, which we should mention, Britney Spears' Heart to Heart. Yeah. Me and my mom, we wrote it. This is you and your mom wrote this? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. We'll check this out, folks. Uh, Britney, thanks so much for making time. I know you're busy. It was nice of you to come by. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for doing it. Britney Spears, everybody. Tom McCoughlin, coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.